not a lot of external noise. Yeah. There's a ton of echo, but I can fix that. You know, you just gotta fill the space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you fix that, I'll Please introduce yourself. My name is Ian Johnson. Uh, consider myself a local artist, Providence local artist, creator. Uh, yeah. All right. Is it safe to say that you're like a portrait painter? I, I pretty much dabble in all mediums, um, whether it be digital, portraits. Portraits, is, it seems like that's my thing right now, but um, I, I, I can do anything. Uh, sculpting, pretty much all mediums. All right. Well, we talking about the portrait paintings. You just did those two pieces in the back. What got you into doing that? How did that happen? Or how did that come about? Uh, from the beginning. Well, basically, I've been I've been drawing my whole life ever since I can I can remember. Probably t two years old, maybe three, three. Yeah. Um, I've always drawn. Painting, I picked up painting in, um, I say, 2004. 2004, the first painting I did, I was locked up. I was in federal prison and I had did a painting. That was my first time trying it. It came out good. And uh, I want to say from there that it was, that, that started it right there, but uh, I took a, a, a big interest in it maybe about about three years ago when I came home. I came home from doing another bid, mm -hmm. and that's when it, you know I came home with a plan, and my plan was to you know express myself through art. So, yeah. Now you also have done pages for several different celebrities. Can you name a few? Um, I did a painting. Uh, I did the first one I did was for. Was it Dirk? I think it was a Dirk. That was the, uh, the my Immortal Eyes series, and you can you can see that. That's one of them right there. That's Immortal Eyes right there. I did uh, one for Boz. That was our Immortal Eyes one. And um, who else did I do one for? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, her right here, the real Kyle's sister. Yeah, I just did that one right there. So. And um, I can't think of who else I do one for. Oh, I did one for Little Sk Little Skies. Yeah, I was able to go. Uh, his uh, the, the the it was the vice president of Sony. Yeah, he had, he had uh, was it wanted that commission? So I, I was able to go to Sony, bring it up there, go to a show, give it to him. Yeah, yeah that was dope. You do have a couple of dope pieces, especially that LeBron James and a Little Wayne one. Those painting are sick. What goes into creating something like that? Do you need like their a picture of them, or you just go off? Of I always use a, I I always use a reference picture, but it's it's more of a um, you know, if I see it, I like it, and I want to create it and add on to it, and just I just come up with the concept which best fits. Uh, Maybe the personality of that person, what what I know of their personality, I try to express it as much as I can in, in my paintings and in, in any artwork that I do, to, hi, to highlight their personality more. Uh, well, let's go back to you giving um like little dirt her painting. What was the, the reaction when you gave them the paintings? When you gave, see uh, see what you created from yourself, giving to somebody else. The, how did they react when he got it? Well, at at that time, I was able to um, I went to a meet and greet. I was able to give it to him, and the reaction was dope because I was able to take a picture with him. But more or less, I seen that in his eyes that he was happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And any time that you give somebody a painting of their self, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just like, you know, why wouldn't you be happy? Like that's you immortalized in a picture, a picture right there. So. Yeah, he. I felt as though that he 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 liked it. You know what I'm saying? And it took a little took a little minute. It took me two times to to get it to him because the first time the train he was uh. I think it was his his traveling. He wasn't able to to take it with him. So after that, I went to it probably like six seven months later. He came back and did another show, and I was able to give it to him, and he took it. So that that was dope. Yeah. 
Now you do patriot um, portraits for like the natives around here also. What's the craziest request you got for a painting? The craziest request that I got for a painting. Mm. Crazy. Nah. No, nah, I don't. I don't think nothing too crazy. Everything's everything been kind of like you know what I'm saying. Pretty much family portraits or you know, mm -hmm. just just more to what what people like. But not nothing crazy. Nothing really out of the ordinary yet. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the request is coming. All right. Like we we did mention a little bit earlier about creating a when you create a the drawing and painting. Like, I know you say your references, but most of it looks like it goes off your mind. You right. actually like see it first. Yeah, and definitely. Then, and, then, and then bring it back to life. Yeah, I got I got to see it, and that like that right that alone, the that creative process right, right there, that's the hardest process, mm -hmm. being able to come together with something that a that a um that people will be drawn to. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's that's pretty much the hardest part right there. Thinking of thinking of a good concept. Yeah. Yeah. Does it take a couple of times to come? It off? it all depends because I usually uh, go to my iPad or sketch it out first, mm -hmm. put it together, look through reference photos and see what I could piece together just off somebody's personality or you know what I want to add to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking too. Was, um, what would you? What would be like your pride piece? Like something that you want to like immortalize or whatever on that you drew it? Do you have an idea or kind of? How that painting will look, and you're still working on that. Well, right now I want to get back to uh, like the essence of how I started. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much just doing my own characters, yeah. just character pieces. It doesn't even have to be uh, a particular person, but just you know, just going off the top of the head. <clears throat> uh, something like because we was talking about it earlier. You had said something about the um, the good times paintings. Yeah. And the, uh, there was the painter, the uh, the artist is Ernie Bonds, yeah. So him, Ernie Bonds, and then there's another guy, uh, Frank Morrison, and they got the they got the character paintings, you know, more motion, more, you know, you get you get a feeling out of it. Earl Watson, yeah, Earl Watson, all of, all those all those cats right there, but character base, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, people when they see it, they know it's you. It's right, you exactly. Know. My signature, in my signature style, yeah. Ever, ever thinking about this is, I could, yeah. I could say more or less this is somewhat of my signature style right here. These character, these character pieces right here. Amazing. Yep. Everything taking those those pieces and making them like, um, like you can do 3D printing now. Right. Everything is doing that. Yep. You know, unless it's going to turn to like action figures or something. Yeah, exactly. Nah, I sculpt too, so sculpt yeah. Too, yeah. Yeah, nah, I got, I got, I got some something in the works, man. To where I'm, it's right. gonna, I'm gonna have uh, toy, toys. Yeah. Uh, the artist, you, you know, Koss. Is that the one with the flying? No, not him. That's, uh, that's Hebrew, Hebrew Brantley, I think. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Hebrew Brantley, and but Koss, he got the um, Swiss Beats, got the big, uh, the models of of what he did in in his house and stuff. So he got like thirty foot characters. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's coming. That's coming, that's coming man. That's what's up. <laughs> so why do you usually think it takes for like an artist uh, as a painter to reach that upper echelon like where they work is worth like millions of dollars, people's coming to a showcase and th throwing ten thousand dollars, whatever, into the art. Why do you usually take I think it's level? it's more like I told you, I'm a hermit crab. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's more me getting out and doing things like this, interacting with the people, you know what I'm saying? Get, letting people know, getting to know people, letting them know who I am, you know what I'm saying? Understand my story, yeah, that that type of thing. You gotta get out, you gotta move, you gotta you move network, around. You gotta, you gotta network, network, man, you know what it's heading for. Yeah, so, so my next one's when you gonna do your showcase. <laughs> coming, <laughs> coming soon, everything's coming soon, man. Have you done some already? Some I, did, I did one at, um, it wasn't personal, but I, I've had art uh, put up at um, Sky Gallery yeah. on Broadway. Right, okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, Chip Doug, though. Let me. Matter of fact, let me let me stop. Chip, I, Chip was my first one. Yeah. yeah, first the first show right there. So Chip Douglas, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. What's up. Yes, sir. Yeah, now, a lot of people are gonna be reading this and watching this video. How can they buy your work? 
Right now, you can reach out to me at my Instagram at evisions underscore designs. Uh, you can go on my Facebook page at Phil, Fillmore Pockets. Uh, I think I also have a Facebook page that's E E3.0 Designs because I just recently changed my name from E3.0 Designs to E-Visions Designs. Yep. And our uh, website, it's, it's, everything's coming. I just did this, so I, I got to get a website now. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the hardest question of the night. You got to give the shout outs. Shout outs. Ooh, that's a, that's a hard one. First, we're going to start off with Hot and our ride. Right? We're going to start off with Chip Douglas for creating the platform for, for this to even happen. You know, um, I want to shout out at my family, my friends. Uh, shout outs. That is a hard one right there. <laughs> Damn. I want, well, let, let me not stop there because I got a lot of supporters on IG. You know what I'm saying? So shout out all my followers on IG, Facebook people in the world who haven't shown their face yet that support me. Like I said, friends and family, Ha and I ride, Chip Douglas. I can go on and on, but uh, I guess I'll say that for the next video, I'll be prepared, uh, the interview, I'll be prepared to, to give shout outs. Uh, M. Durant Studios, can't forget him. Big shout out. And it, yeah, that's it right there, man. <laughs>